YouTube, what's up, man? This weekend was crazy. The Mutt Invitational Tournament. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It happened on Saturday. It was on Twitch, man. I'm not going to put any of that stuff on YouTube. So if you saw it, good. I'm glad you got into it. Uh, if you missed it, next time you need to be there, man. I told you guys two weeks ahead of time I want to make it something special for Twitch. A live moment for everybody. If you couldn't make it, don't worry, man. The next one's going to be even better. Uh, we had over 2,000 people watching the Mutt Invitational Tournament. Uh, one of the biggest events I've ever done on Twitch. Clef was able to win it and represent for Needed Gaming. Um, that's just the tip of the iceberg for all the things we want to do as far as Needed Gaming and as far as the things we're going to do in Madden alone. But I also played Weekend League, and that's what we're going to talk about this gameplay. Now, this was the first game of Weekend League. Now, I'll be honest, I got three disconnections in Weekend League this weekend. Now, if you have ever been disconnected in a Weekend League game and got the loss, please hit the like button. Simple as that. That's all I want to do. But this is the first game of Weekend League. I was actually on an alternate account. Normally, I try to play 40 to 50 games of Weekend League per weekend. It's fun. It's entertaining. You guys love to watch it. If you want to watch it live, twitch.tv slash dub dot. That link is below. Also, man, all the social medias, I know you guys are already following, so I don't even have to tell you that those links are below. But if you're not, those links are below as well. But this game, this game was the first game of Weekend League. And I'll tell you guys, you guys know. The first five games are snooze fests. You can get through them easily without even trying. And uh, this game, uh, it seemed like that, but you know, sometimes we like to make it sweaty. You're gonna learn a lot from this game. I'm gonna make you a better man player. Let's get to it. Like I said, boys, this guy was a super bot because the first game, that's how you go into the game. That's how you go and playing it. As far as I'm concerned, I think let's make some highlights. Let's make them quit. Maybe that fumble should have been a, or a hit stick should have been a fumble and make him quit early. He gets sacked. The first play runs play action. Yeah, this guy is a bot. Uh, next play runs a stretch, and Eric Dickerson says, Dubby, not so fast, my friend. And he gets up out of here. I am on a new account. I'm on my buddy's account, uh, Buster Harley. If you guys are on Twitch, you guys see him all the time. He's the man. Uh, did not check his settings. He definitely had Heat Seeker on. If you guys are playing with Heat Seeker, um, I don't like it. Uh, a lot of us pros don't like it because it kind of takes control of the player for you around the ball carrier that's kind of what happened right there for me and was not able for me to take the right angle with some of those players from behind pause and make that tackle that's why we play with heat seeker off i did not check his settings he definitely has heat seeker on uh and it's something if you want to get better you should definitely turn that off uh but we hit the corner out there a little bit of dagger um, I am going to play this game i start this is the first game weekly i'm taking it lightly i might even be playing on balance as i am here as i catch a juke right there with that new to man that new to is a boss if you guys have him you can power him up with just training you should have tons of training this time of year and you can get him with just training that's awesome uh 99 overall card can get four abilities so i'm loving him former eagle great former niner great former cowboy great uh former bengal great uh to little hits right there to to boom underneath get inside the three first down then we're going to blast that ass uh, over and over until we get into the end zone. That's what we're going to do. That is the best thing about blast. This game, I really don't even run blast other than the short yardage. That's it. Uh, and really, if I were playing a Mutt tournament, if I played in the Mutt Invitational tournament, that is probably the only time I would run blast is in a short yardage situation. Not really up and down the field too much on All Pro because Vic just, f I mean, dude. I fumble, and I'll ask you guys, in the comments below, I want you guys to let me know as he throws up a wheel route that we picked off out of bounds. Do you guys think I have more touchdowns this year with Vic or fumbles with Vic? That's a good question. I asked the chat. I, I, I don't know for sure. I really don't. If you guys been watching me all year, that's a good question. Let me know what you think. More fumbles or more touchdowns as he hits a little drag right there on third down in front of Akuda. Akuda is the number one rookie premier I would get if I were you guys because he's a beast right now. And I'll tell you, uh, hopefully next year, the first day we get the game, we'll have a card that's, you know, 87 speed, 86 speed, or at least 85 speed and a 6'1 uh, with the ability to play corner or safety. I think Akuda is a safe bet to get for rookie premier. Uh, uh, so that's who I have. That's the only rookie premier I have. I don't know if I'll use any more. Chase Young would probably be my second pick. Uh, you see this guy is just running. This is like, I feel like there's no shot I even have a close game with this guy. I feel like he just does no shot. But I'll tell you, football is is any given Sunday type of thing. Madden included. Madden is no different. The easiest way 
to make a game close is to turn the ball over. That's the easiest way to do it as we see a little uh, read option. Been running read option a lot. When people run these over G's or two, four, fives, I like to run a little read option uh, and inside zone because it's tough to guard the run when you're really that worried about the pass. Right here, we're gonna go for the crossing route. Boom, don't get my feet in. Bad animation right there for Randy Moss. Next play, fourth and 12. If you guys watched my video about my offense, I told you about stamina on the wide receivers. It matters. I asked Moss to run that route twice in a row. The second time he ran it a little bit sloppy on fourth down. Don't, and I turned the ball over on downs. This is how you make a game sweaty. Now I tell you the first five, the first five games of weekend league, I don't want them to be sweaty, but hey, that is why they watch the sweat master. Uh, he's just gonna run the ball if he's in field goal range. I'm gonna use my timeouts um, and we're gonna give him a field goal. So we just give him a free three, get the ball back. We have 38 seconds and a timeout plenty of time to make something shake and that's what we're going to try to do we get out here with michael vick tyree kill little spin move janky spin move uh 88 spin is the threshold for a good spin i learned that next play we're going to roll out nowhere to go make it shake with vick and of course it would not be a dub dot dubby gameplay without a fumble on the field michael vick fumbles the ball next play hits this little drag underneath to Julio Jones gets out of bounds 21 seconds he has all three timeouts he's going to run the ball a little bit with Eric Dickerson uses timeouts uh next play stretch and there's just a blocker in front of me and he's going to score so down by 10 uh this is why they watch gotta make something shake uh gotta fight back I I'll tell you man it's nothing like having the, the the card stacked up against you you're back against the wall I just it's like a challenge you know, it's, it's kind of like the solo battles that people play or solos. Oh, you're down by 21. Come back and win uh, to get this many coins or something like that. I take that like, okay, even though it, it's a challenge for myself, I'm not playing a computer, though. I'm playing this guy, Fred Bruce. Fred Bruce. I'm, that's what I mean. He is my solo battle. He is my solo right now. I am down by 10 starting the second half getting the ball can i win this game can i stop eric dickerson and put some drives together against an activated aaron donald and lawrence taylor can i get it done and right here we dump it off the to uh just get some yards out there to catch i go on conservative uh once this game gets sweaty because i know one fumble can end it for me moss right there big bop and it would not be a dub dot w gameplay without a fumble and not only was that not vic that was randy moss on conservative against Computer Ed Reed with no abilities just took off Randy Moss's face. We dropped the ball, and this guy is going to tuck his tail between his legs and give the ball to Eric Dickerson three straight plays and said, you know what? I'm cool with three. And you know what? You guys know this YouTube. Three is not going to win a game. Three is not going to beat me. It might be you. It might be Larry. And it might be Joe down the street. But it's not going to beat me. So that just gives you life. You think that fumble, you so when you fumble right there, you think like, man, this game's over, especially if he scores a touchdown. But taking three and being cool with taking three, you can't lose to that type of attitude. Uh, and if you're in that situation on offense, man, you have to go for the win right there. Put the game away. Can't just get a ball to Eric Dickerson three times and be cool with three. Michael Vick rolling out right here. Throw the crossing route. That's why we have... Uh, what is it roaming dead eye on Vic to make that crazy throw with Aaron Donald right breathing down his face next play will roll out this way corner route boom Randy Moss get those feet in bounds uh, 12 yard line got to make some plays here we're going to go ahead and hit the little curl route oh we will go for the should have hit the curl route as I watched this play back should have hit the curl route and I saw that <laughs> I saw that the next play and then we hit the curl route Julio Jones inside the two Goal line, pump block, 3-4, quarters three deep, blast, and that ass, touchdown. Michael Vick, just like that. Uh, we're down by six now. So man, all we got to do is stop Eric Dickerson. I feel like we've been saying that all year when playing mud. All we have to do is stop Eric Dickerson. Not to, it's, it's, it's one of those things, easier said than done. Uh, just wrap them up bodies around the ball. That's pretty much our goal bodies around the ball bodies around the ball Patrick Willie P Willie making a play right there next play. We go ahead and get this sack Mr. Brian Burns right there. Like I said, I'm on second account. So some players I don't really have Brian Burns on my main team But Lawrence Taylor gets the sack right here. Boom 
just like that. Three and out, punting to Tyreek Hill. Baja shot. No, we're going to get tackled. So, 41-yard line. 317. Now, honestly, as I watched this game back, I edited it. I said, you know what? I could have ran the ball a little bit more. Should have get the clock. Should have kept the clock running. Uh, but I want to air it out. I'm going to pass the ball here. This was a good lurk by him. He stayed on X. And you, you guys know I wait for that user to go back to the in route. But he stayed on X right there. Aaron Donald kills me right there. Boom. Instant shed. Uh, third and 18. What I want to do right here is take half of this. I wish I could have stayed in bounds a little bit better. That could have been a first down. Get to a fourth and eight. I'm going to go to tight offset. I haven't run this much all game. Give him a different look on fourth and eight. We're going to roll out, hit this corner route, post flag elite. Uh, I mean, Julio got in front. If he would have clicked on a DB, I promise he could have made a play. Did not click on. Uh, he didn't click on Aaron Donald there either. Make a Another sack from Aaron Donald. Instant shed. This time we cut Aaron Donald and we're able to roll out. Missile this into the end zone. Touchdown, Randy Moss. We take the lead. Extra points going to put us up by one. But there's this man on the other side of the field. Eric Dickerson. Got to stop him. Field goal range is so close. It's so close uh, with these new kickers. He runs stretch right. And I, this is embarrassing. Uh, just terrible user. I don't know how I dove with that guy. Can't catch Eric Dickerson. And he is fringe field goal range already. 47-yard line. Goes for another stretch. We're able to click off and get on Lawrence Taylor to stop him there. He goes to tight doubles. I'm going to blitz the crib. Hard flat on the right. Lurk a little decent. Boom. And he catches the drag in front of hard flat. Takes it to the crib. I try to dive to make him run into the end zone, but he stops. Smart, savvy vet move. Stopping. Knowing a field goal is going to win this game. 54 seconds. I call my timeout instantly. Uh, I want the ball back. Hopefully he scores a touchdown here. Hopefully he gets in the end zone or an incomplete or anything to stop the clock. Now, I'm not even going to edit the rest of this game because there's so much to talk to you guys about. As we blow up that run right there, use my timeout instantly. The faster I hit that select button, I don't even think it's called select anymore. That's how old I am. Back on, on NES and, and Nintendo, it was select. But uh, I jammed that select button to call timeout right there. Now we're at 50 seconds. Uh, this is where if he wasn't going to kick the field goal, as he runs a dive and and Simeon Rice I have right there kills him. Uh, if he wasn't going to kick the if he was going to kick the field goal, he should run plays that take a little more time. A toss, a counter, even call a pass play, block everybody and stand in the pocket, and then fall with your quarterback. You want to run as much time as possible on these plays if you're the guy kicking the field goal. The knee is the worst thing you can call because it instantly starts the next play clock. As you see right here, 46. He's right at 30 already. So he doesn't run any extra seconds off that 30. It could have been 30 plus as many seconds as your play took. If he ran a toss, ran back a little bit, you know, wasted some time, he would have left me less time for my for me to go down the field and get a field goal. Now, also, when you get into these situations when the clock is running, take a delay a game because what he's going to do is start his kick meter right away, and that means it's going to snap at three seconds. So if he took a delay a game, that would have saved him another three seconds. So let's think about it. Three for the delay of game. Let's just say four if he runs a toss. That's seven seconds. I could be sitting right here with eight seconds. Instead, I have 15 seconds. No timeouts. I mean, this is why they watch. This is why they hit the like button. This is why they subscribe to the channel. What do we do in this situation? Now, with the kicker, my man Yan, my man Yan, I probably have to get to the 47, 46 to win this game. So I'm thinking a couple daggers, a corner route, I have to get out of bounds. If I stay in bounds, I'm only going to have two plays. If I stay out of bounds, if I get out of bounds, I can have three or four plays. Here, he's in three deep. That's man coverage. Man coverage, I know it's easy. I put two post routes. You have to guard one. Long as I don't get shedded, I will see where your user goes. That's it. I mean, I have a post route right to left, and he's going to guard the one, the deep one. I'm going to hit the in route, but I'm going out of bounds instantly. I'm not even trying. To, I actually lose probably five yards to get out of bounds. And right there, he has to click on and beat me to out of bounds. But I get out of bounds, stop the clock. That took seven seconds. So I would be at one second. If he used it, if he managed the clock a little bit better, but eight seconds, no timeouts. We're going to go to two corner routes now because I have to get out of bounds. He guards the one on the left, hit the one on the right. Perfect animation. Boom. Field goal range. Yan, the man 
four seconds left on the clock. And, and listen, he could have used this four seconds a whole bunch of different ways, and he did not. He could have kicked off differently, make me waste time on the kickoff. He could have used uh, more clock when he had the ball on offense. Uh, just not being able to finish the game, it's, it, it just loses him this one. And if you will give somebody the opportunity to clutch on you, they will clutch on you. That's it. So your job is to pretty much do as best ability as you can to shorten the game and make their life difficult. But that's what we do. We go down the field, we get things done when our back's against the wall. Hit the like button, comment, subscribe.